so i will fireball his princess and i hope i will get some goblin gang also so gg's to him guys so this is it so the one Hello guys and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. So today I will be giving tips on how to cross from Challenger 1 to Challenger 2. So I have a level 12 Hawk Cycle and let's do it guys. So we are in a match and we are up against some Russian guys. Let's see. So he have Barrel. I think this is a Logbed deck guys. And Logbed in these trophy range are not that hard and even i think logbit is not a hard matchup for 2.6 we can win if we have a good damage lead in one x elixir it can go in any direction guys so always remember this that we have to deal more damage in one x elixir so here i will kite his valkyrie using my skellies and i hope canon will take out his valkyrie i will use my musketeer for his princess as she can be annoying if she get a lock to our tower so here i'm going in with, with my hog so he used his inferno so he have inferno guys lots of pros are using tesla instead of inferno and nowadays canon is like very much viable in top ladder as they are playing canon with mighty minor so here he played juke barrel and i will split my skelly at the center as I was trying to predict his princess as princess can be annoying at the bridge so we have to avoid her lock here I'm going in with my hog as he don't have inferno but he used his rocket which was great okay so here I will predict his princess using my ice golem and I will place my cannon for his princess predicting these princes are very important guys as they, they can deal a lot of damage if they got to once a lock so always try to be ready for the princess so here he placed his valkyrie and our cannon will do some work on his valkyrie as it will nearly take out his valkyrie so we are in 2x elixir guys and in 2x elixir log bit take become quite deadly so here i will also start firewall cycle along with my hog and i will try to get his uh, inferno tower with my fireball so here i will log his barrel and we are back to our hog and i think we don't have inferno this time so i will fireball here so he is back to his inferno which is unfortunate for us but we got our fireball damage here i will cannon his princess but he smartly played his valkyrie in front of princess so he did manage to defend his princess from my cannon but i think musky will take out his princess now and i will go in with my hog and i will also fireball at the same time and this time we will get his inferno along with the goblin gang so till now he haven't touched our tower so we are in a good damage lead guys here i want to fireball his princess so i will hog and then i will fireball his princess so he has started his rocket cycle guys and we got the fireball damage on his tower along with princess so i don't think he can come back from this guys so i'm back to my hog and i have fireball as well so i will fireball his princess and i hope i will get some goblin gang also so gg's to him guys so this is it so the only tip against the log bit is that guys try to get as much as damage in 1x elixir so that you can win so we are in the next match guys and we are up against hitman agent 47 so he just spammed his valkyrie and hog at the bridge and he have a level 14 hog and our hog got some damage on his right side tower guys and his archers are coming from the right lane guys so i will distract his archer using my skelly and electro spirit despite that his archer will get two shots so we are in damage late guys so i will wait for elixir to fill and then i will spam my hog on the right side let's wait for some time so he used his wizard so i'm going to fireball his wizard as uh, this is a good move guys here i will log his elite barb and wizard okay so 
I think I just messed up my skellies, guys. So I have to put down Musky for his elite. And I will give a goblin laughing emote to myself. So that was a hilarious move by me. Okay, so I'm going in with my hog. And I think I just wasted that electro spirit. But anyways, guys, our hog will get some damage on his right side tower. And I will log his archers as well. Okay, so I will put down my cannon, but uh, his archers are locked onto my cannon and I think Hog will get some damage guys. Okay, so it will take out my tower. But still we can come back from this guys. So, he is spamming a lot of emote. Okay, so we have to come back from this guys. Okay, so here I will put down my ice golem to distract his elite. And I will also put down my musky. So we are about to hit 2x elixir and in 2x elixir we can come back guys. So we are going in with our hog and he don't have elite so our hog will get some damage on his right side tower and his tower is down to 50. So this is great for us. We just need one more lock to finish his tower. So I will put down my cannon for his hog. He used his magic archer so I will fireball it and then I will go in with my hog on the left side i will not log here guys as i will log at the end of the game as i don't want his king tower to be activated right now so i will put down my cannon at the center so he used his valkyrie i will log his valkyrie along with his archer and i will distract his elite using my ice golem so his magic archer is getting some value guys but our musky will take out his magic archer so i will log here as the match was about to end and here i will fireball his princess tower along with his wizard so we got some value guys here so his tower is down to six one six nine five sorry guys so here i will not be able to place my cannon at time that's why i have to take some hog hits so i'm going in with my hog once again so he used his elite I think our hog will get one shot, which is great. I will put down the musky as he can go in with anything from the center, that's why. So he spammed his hog from the center, but I will put down my cannon for his hog. Okay, so now I will push with my hog once again. So I will fireball his archers, and I think our hog will get some damage, guys. And I think musky will get a lock, yes. So I think we just need one more musky shot guys and here you can see that we got it. So GG's to him guys. I will spam goblin laughing emote once again. So GG's to him and let's move on to the next match. So we are in the next match and we are up against Caprio. Sorry Carpio. So he just placed a weird furnace. I don't know why he placed it like that. That was not a good log on my part, but uh, it was a decent one. So our hog got some damage on his princess tower. So he has princess as well. So I will put down my cannon for his princess. And I think we are back to our hog, but we don't have elixir right now. So I will wait for elixir to fill. So our musky will get a lock on his left side tower. We don't have lock, so we have to fireball his barrel. So we are in a good damage lead, guys. And I will give a goblin laughing emote. So he is back to his furnace. So I will put down my ice golem to defend his fire spirits from the furnace. So here I will log in his spear gobs along with the furnace. So he used his princess at the bridge. I will put down my cannon for it. And then I will fireball his goblin barrel. So I will distract his last fire spirit as it's of level 13 and it can get a good damage on my tower. I will distract his minion horde using my ice golem. And I think I have to put down my skelly for his fire spirit but it's too late guys. So I will go in with my hog on the right side lane. And then I will put down my cannon for his fire spirit coming from the furnace i think our hog will get a ton of damage guys 
as you can see that his tower is down to 243 so i think we just need one more fireball and lock to finish the match but we are about to hit 2x elixir one minute is left in this whole match guys so he placed his princess over there and then i will log his goblin barrel and our musky will take out his princess which is great and i will fireball his furnace along with the princess tower and here i will distract his princess using my ice cold and then i will put down my cannon for his princess decks in this trophy ranges are quite common guys as lots of player will be playing mega knight and witch hog these kind of decks are quite popular in this meta and in these trophy range so we just have to develop a little bit of skill to cross these trophy range so just grind a little bit then you can be easily pushing to 6000 trophy with your low level hop cycle so ggs to him guys and let's move on to the next match so we just need one more match to reach challenger 2 and let's just search for it guys so we are in the match and we are up against miguel so good luck to him so i'm going in with my electro spirit from the back as i don't have hog in my starting hand i will also split my skelly so he used his musky and i think our electro spirit get the connection okay so our electro spirit did took out his musky along with fireball here i will spam my hog on the right side and i will distract his knight using my electro spirit and skelly I don't think knight will get any damage so that was a good log and cannon on his part so he is playing a barrel deck I don't know why he just fireball but he used 7 elixir on that process so I'm going in with my hog along with my ice golem and electro spirit I think our hog will get ton of damage guys and we will be in a good damage lead so here I will put down my cannon for his knight and then I will distract his knight and valkyrie using my skelly. I will not put down anything as cannon can take out valkyrie. So here I will go in with my hog and ice golem. But wait, I will only send ice golem if he plays his cannon then I will put down musky for his cannon. Ok so he didn't go in with his cannon. He instead he played his barrel and musky on the princess tower. So here we got a good fireball value. And now I will go in with my ice golem once again as I have ice golem right now. So what once again I am going to do a fake push. I will put down my ice golem. And if he plays his cannon like this then I will put down my musky. And musky will took out his cannon and hog will straightly go towards his tower so i don't think he can defend this hog anymore so this was a good fireball on his part our hog got one damage which is great okay so i was late in my ice golem placement so his musky got lock onto my musky and our electro spirit got the connection guys and his tower is down to 268. I think we just need one more fireball and log to finish the match. Okay, so we nearly missed that juke barrel, guys. I leaked a lot of elixir, but I think our hog will get the damage, guys, and we will win this match. So we are in the last 10 seconds of the match, and I don't think he can come back from this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, Hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe it and we just hit uh, 5.3k trophies guys and i hope you guys all got all the tips and tricks what to do so ggs to him and ggs to all of you guys see you in the next video bye bye guys take care